Round one highlights from the Web.com Tours El Bosque Mexico Championship. And the Web.com Tour is certainly international all season long. And we'll pick it up with Jamie Lovemark on the fifth, sitting at even par to this point. This for a nice downhill birdie putt, and he just curls it in, finds the right amount of break and speed. He would get it to two under on his round, but then go three over on his back nine leaving him at one over par after 18 holes, and currently that is right on the cut line. Nathan Taylor on the fifth. This is his second shot as he spins it back closer and closer to the pin as it settles to within a foot. He would go on to make that for birdie. He also finished at one over on his day. Carlos Sainz Jr. sitting at one over at this point on the fourth. This for birdie. Started on the back nine, so he was coming off three bogeys in his last five holes. He would go on to birdie five as well and work his way back to even par. Matt Fast on the fifth, his second shot at one under. He started on the back nine, so put together a bogey-free front with three birdies to finish at three under par, and he is four off the lead. Adam Crawford, the Aussie, also on the fifth, his second shot coming off his first birdie of the day on the fourth nearly holds it for Eagle, but will go on to tap in for birdie. Back-to-back -back birdies for Crawford, a three under 69, so he is currently tied for 16. Henrik Norlander, the Swede, his second shot on the same hole, staying on the fifth. He's at two under par. Gives himself a nice look at birdie here from about seven feet out. And he had an extraordinary front nine, which included six birdies, one there on the fifth, and just one par for a four under 68. So Norlander working hard for his round 168 on Thursday. Wes Roach now sitting at three under on the ninth. This for birdie downhill putt as he curls it in. Bogey free day did the majority of the work on his first nine. He would make the turn at four under, finish with a five under 67, and he is just two back after 18 holes. Casey Wittenberg, journeyman, bouncing back and forth between the Web.com Tour and PGA Tour, trying to regain his full tour status. Not going to be happy with that wedge. Leaves himself a long birdie look here to move it to seven under, but no problem for Wittenberg at all as he finishes off with a nice long birdie for a round 165. So he is tied for the lead at seven under par with the man who currently holds the number one spot on the Web.com Tour money list, Peter Malnati. This is his last hole of the day, trying to claim a share of the lead and take a look at this birdie bomb. So Malnati joins the top at seven under par after 18 holes.